The Rad Runner Plus is quite possibly the best purchase we've ever made. Within a month, we had already put 100 kilometers on it. And it's winter right now, so we're probably not even using it as much as we will be in the summer. This bike has been an absolute game changer for us. Let me show you why. So, part of why my partner and I got the Rad Runner Plus is because we had dreams of riding together with one of us as a passenger. Originally, we wanted to get a Bach Feats, which is basically a cargo bike with a big box on the front. But after borrowing a friend's, we realized it would be totally impractical to take in the elevator in our condo building. The Bach Feats is an amazing bike design, and I highly recommend Not Just Bike's life-changing video about how they're the perfect car replacement, particularly electric ones. The first thing I was impressed by is how complete this bike is. It comes with this backlit electronic display, fenders, a powerful integrated front light and front suspension. The tires are quite thick, with some serious treads that have performed very well on compacted snow and ice, though in deep snow or sand it definitely struggles. It also comes with this super comfy seat on the back, pegs for the passenger's feet, and an integrated rear light, which also functions as a brake light. And of course, the battery locks to the bike. One of the most impressive things about the Rad Runner is the battery life. This thing has a range of about 72 kilometers or 45 miles. I could easily do my daily ride for three or four days without charging it. Though I have no problem charging it every day because Rad Power Bike says the battery doesn't have a memory effect, meaning it isn't damaged by brief repeated charging. I bought several add-ons for this bike, all of which I consider to be pretty much essential after using them for a few months. The front basket is awesome, great for when you need a quick service to throw some stuff on for a second. This center console is great storage too, though it's bolted to the bike so it can't easily be removed, and the opening mechanism with these bands isn't the easiest to use. It also eliminates the step-through design, which makes the bike a little harder to mount. The passenger bars here are also an extra, and they're incredibly useful not just for the passenger to have something to hold on to, but for lifting and maneuvering the bike in small spaces. The passenger bars are an absolute must if you're keeping the seat on. One of the coolest things about this bike is that I can now say to people, hey, do you need a ride? I can pick you up. I picked up a friend recently, and it was kind of mind-blowing, honestly. Riding with the weight of an adult passenger on the back definitely has a learning curve, though, especially in winter conditions with snow and ice on the ground but in the summer I suspect it will be much easier. The throttle and the upright seating position make this bike particularly well suited to icy conditions, as I can use the throttle to move through sketchy spots while keeping my feet down in case I slip. I keep the seat fairly low too, which gives a sense of comfort and stability in uncertain conditions. And in a windy place like Winnipeg, the power of an electric bike feels amazing. We've had this bike three months, and it has almost 400 kilometers on it, most importantly, it's really fun to ride, and riding it as a passenger is a really special experience I'd recommend to everyone. Overall, this bike cost us about 2,500 Canadian dollars, which is less than 1,900 US dollars, about a fifth the cost of one year of car ownership. We took advantage of the free financing option to pay it off over six months interest-free. The biggest unexpected perk of the Rad Runner is how it turns heads. We're rolling advertisement for how fun biking is, and I can't tell you how many nice comments I've gotten from amazed people, especially when we ride together. It's just really cute and fun, you know?